Hi, my name is Brian Meacham, and I'm the Archive and Special Collections Manager here at the Yale Film Study Center. We're talking about the Treasures from the Yale Film Archive series today, which is a monthly uh, series of film showings drawing on the film collection of the Film Study Center. We have a large collection of 35 millimeter prints, and we are one of the few venues in the state of Connecticut that still uh, is capable of showing 35 millimeter film uh, as it was originally seen by audiences. So once a month we have a free screening open to uh, the Yale community and the general public showcasing a film from our collection. Looking back over the past year, we have a, a series of uh, screenings, the posters uh, uh, from which are shown here. We started last summer with uh, Three Kings, starring George Clooney, and we've uh, had a screening uh, every month, and uh, we're about to embark on our second season. Uh, the screening series has been immensely popular, uh, both among Yale students and the New Haven community. We've had filmmakers in person. We've had uh, a silent film screening with live piano accompaniment. We've had an ultra-rare screening of 16 millimeter shorts from the Herb Graff collection. And we screened some films that you're never going to find anywhere else. Uh, even if you can find uh, some of these films that we show in our series uh, on DVD or, or on Netflix, seeing them on 35 millimeter on the big screen is an opportunity that you just don't get anymore. All right, so I'm going to get the film set up here on our Steenbeck, which is a 16 millimeter flatbed viewing machine. It allows us to take a look at a film print uh, without having to run it through a film projector. Um, the Steenbeck's very uh, gentle on the film, and uh, you can hear the film if you, uh, if you need to identify it based on the soundtrack, based on what someone is saying or explaining. And also, you can freeze uh, a frame of the film, which is very useful if you need to identify something. And that's something you couldn't do on a film projector because the, the heat of the bulb would burn the film. It doesn't do that here. Egypt is a land of contrast. At once as modern as an airliner, and as ancient as the very stones of the pyramids themselves. 